All right, coding fans, here we are at randomized lands in arrays. Um, so in this one, we are going to use a, a randomize, use randomization to generate a unique world. So we are going to use the random number generator in here. So let all coordinates equal that all possible coordinates. And we'll notice that our heights array is empty because we are going to do that here. Uh, I like to get a free line of code right there. And so it says append random number of heights. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how many random numbers, because if we just do one, then it will be the same throughout. So we want it to generate a, an amount of random numbers. Um, so that's gonna be a for loop, okay? And now we just kind of have to figure out how many random numbers we want. So I'm just gonna say uh, eight. All right, so it's going to generate eight random numbers, which we will append to this height array. And then it will repeat those eight numbers. So instead of choosing the eight numbers ourselves that go into here, uh, we'll just randomly generate it. So we have heights and we go to append it. So heights dot append. All right, and we're gonna get some new stuff over here. And we go over all the way here. We've got random bool. We want random integer. So random int from int to int. So this is going to give us a range. All right. So heights.append random integer from, I'm going to go zero, and we'll go to 12. And so it will generate, what this says is it will generate eight different numbers that start at zero and go to 12. So it could be 8, 4, 2, 3, 9, 7, 11, stuff like that. All right, but it's going to choose eight of them. So this for loop tells you how many different ones, and then this random integer tells you what the range of that number is. We could start at 0, we could go to 22, whatever it is. All right, here's our height index starting at 0, which means once we generate all of our numbers, it'll start at 0. This one right here resets. So at, once it gets to eight, if we don't have this part, we'll get an index out of bounds error. Uh, and we don't want that. So this resets it when it gets to the end. So it'll go eight and then restart at number one again. Um, this is our current height index. All right, so if current height is equal to zero, we're gonna do something if it's equal to zero. Uh, so let's just place a switch. So we'll just go world.place. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to start typing it. World dot place gym. So capital gym with parentheses behind it. Don't forget that. At lowercase coordinate. Okay, so with this, so for core, if current height equals zero, blah, blah, blah. So at those coordinates where the height, the height is equal to zero, uh, we will place a gym. All right, and then we've got an else. Okay, so uh, for one in current height place block. So that says how, whatever the height index is, we will place one block for every integer that height is. So if it's eight, it'll actually place nine because computers start counting at zero. All right, now, if the height is greater than 10, meaning 11 or 12. Okay, if it's greater than 10, do something like place a character. Okay, so let's world dot place our character. World dot place capital character with parentheses behind it at lowercase coordinate okay so we will place a character every time uh we have a 10 or 11 or excuse me 11 or 12. all right else if so if it's not that and it's greater than or equal to three so column is greater than or equal to three and less than six. So that's three, four, and five. So if it's at columns three, four, and five, and it's not greater than 10, so 10 or below, it will do this. So it says do something different such as place water. So let's do that. In order to place water, we're gonna to need to remove all blocks. So we're going to world dot, world dot, we need to remove all blocks not items, we want to remove all blocks at lowercase coordinate. Okay, so this says, all right, if it's greater than 10, no matter where it is, 
we're going to place a character and it's going to stay still. Otherwise, if it's less than 10 and starting at row 3 and ending at row 5, not including 6, we're going to remove all blocks. And then after that, we're going to need to place water. So world.place, world.place, capital water with parentheses behind it at lowercase coordinate. And this is add more rules to customize your world. Um, let's just go, hmm, we could do something like if it's equal to zero, we'll place a switch. We'll see if this works without adding those rules, uh, but we'll see what happens. So there we are. This one is greater than 10, so we've got a character here. Um, oh, so this is going to be pretty funny because this is an eight by eight, so I thought it was a nine by nine. So we've generated eight numbers, so we're gonna have eight of the same thing. If we generated a different amount other than eight, then it would look more randomized. But realistically, what happened is we ra randomized these and um, not where they are. So we could run this again, um, and all we gotta do is change this. But let's just let this roll and see if this works out. Um, and then we'll be good. This is actually pretty good, because you're able to really see what's going on. Uh, because right here at three, that should be water, but because it's greater than 10, and that's our first thing, this is our first if, all right, so we got the check mark. So this shows us some good things. So despite the fact that that should be water, that is our else if command. So this first one takes precedent. All right, so we got the check mark. Um, so we're done here. I'm gonna go ahead and change eight to six, and we'll run it again. And you'll, it'll look a little bit more random. if it runs. All right, there we go. And now it's it's looking much more random. All right, and there we go. See you in the next one.